Hello, everyone. Thanks for stopping by, sparing me, 11 11. It's your girl, Stardust 11 11, here to do your forecast tarot card reading for the sign of Virgo. This is a timeless reading, okay? So, this reading is good for whenever you click on the video. If the message resonates with you, then it's your message. Virgo is an earth sign. This reading may also resonate with the Taurus or Capricorn, as well as Earth is your element. All right, everyone, I'm going to be pulling your cards here on my little intro just to save time for you guys. Um, tarot is gender neutral, so your king to be queens and vice versa. Uh, you can swap out the characters however you need to, uh, whatever best fits and helps your situation. And also, my dears, thanks to everyone who is buying those extended. You guys are legit so awesome. Thank you so much. Everyone liking, sharing me out, and subscribing. Thank you guys so much. Me and my partners over here at YouTube. Um, we greatly, greatly appreciate that from you guys. Thank you so much. And also... Don't forget to like, share me out if any of this message resonates, and there will maybe most likely be an extended version of this. Um, on my Vimeo, I will be letting you know by the end of the reading. Depends on what comes out or what we get if I'm going to be extending this tarot card reading for you guys. All right? So you can rent or purchase that at Vimeo, and the link will be down below for that. So, without further ado, guys, oh, and also if you need a personal private reading, Tiger Fire Energy. Ooh, look at that ferocious fierce tiger if you need a personal private reading links will be listed down below in the description box do not hesitate to get with me guys you guys are legit and you're so awesome thank you so much to everyone so let's get this tiger here you have lunar force ease and darkness feminine energy the tiger hunts at night at one with the silence fearing nothing this card reminds us to take in the wild darkness, to allow the lunar forces to soothe and heal our spirits. Sensuality, receptivity, and devotion are all heightened in the midnight hour. And the tiger takes advantage of these boons. Spend some time in silence this evening, drinking in the potent calm. There is nothing to fear in the stillness except the awakening of your own power. And I can't Put enough emphasis on that being alone right now, standing in your power and not letting anything take away from your vibration to what you are trying to attract into yourself and into your life here. Thank you, Spirit, for that message, for um, reaffirming for me to be able to um, let the collective conscious know, you guys, my viewers, thank you so much again, that um, this thing here is, is about going within and, and finding your inner being, your inner self, and your peace and calm and not letting anything outside of you put you in a state of fear or panic. Know that you're strong and you're the tiger and you're ferocious and um, nothing can stop you and your will as long as you are moving and making steps and strides in the direction of that which you are trying to go. Stay persistent. All right? That's the message. Thank you, Spirit. So I'm pulling from the fairies oracle here for you guys. Get a few messages here. See what the fairies would like to come in bless your reading with here and i will say bless because we are hoping for a good reading for you guys right i am virgo sun sign so i always like to see what comes out here for the virgo sometimes it resonates and sometimes it doesn't crazy crazy how it resonates so much that it's actually telling parts of my life as it be unfolded so spirit is definitely definitely the truth okay guys your first card what do we have Ooh, he of the fiery sword somebody has the tools right now to get to where you need to go to speak your truth to bring clarity to a situation that wow okay spirit <laughs> um you have the sage tam the poet and he of the fiery sword so and then i'm going to take the um i didn't want this many cards um yeah okay so let's go he had the fiery sword right now with that tiger energy. So for everyone sitting at home, right, you need to understand and know that the truth that you seek, the power in your life, like Archangel Michael holds the sword and uses it to cut off the debris, things that no longer serves, to cut through all the bullshit and go to the truth of the matter and having an epiphany, a moment of clarity and truth. This is a breakthrough coming for some of you guys through this moment of isolation um, and the quarantine. You are definitely finding yourself and the ability to be able to speak your truth the sage here is like coming in and spirit creating a realm or an, an or an essence of um, a peaceful 
come time right now where you guys will just be able to stand in your own power and find your own truth here. The sage is very spiritual here. So you are definitely dealing with the energy of something bigger than yourself. Know that for sure. Um, the sage being very wise, being like the oracle of the oracles, coming to deliver messages from the divine. So for some of you, literally may need to just light a sage stick, let the windows up, and sage your house right now. Finding your truth, cleansing your soul, and finding that vibrational match that's going to match that that you are in pursuit of in your life, right? For yourself. Tayom, the poet here, is telling me that something or someone in your experience is very patient. Tayom has like the kind of adolescent type of energy where he's always getting into something like he's the trickster up the road that comes and throws the twig in your pathway on a walk through the park like where why or how he shows up we don't know but Taeyong always has a message this is about your inner voice some of you guys could be singers could be very good communicators here very verbal or written communication some of you guys I'm seeing Taeyong is just sitting here like waiting for the quarantine to be over but finding your sword right right now that sage moment like the shits that didn't make sense trying to make sense of it all wanting to get a better look at the situation so he's just very attentive and staring and just watching something or someone could be watching you um a collection of pixies this is about coming together in a same time that it was same that you know everyone is trying to keep you away and in isolation remember your interconnectedness to everyone and that it takes those around you to manifest and to be able to go forward with your dreams your goals and your plans so you have to be committed to what you want to do even the ones that you don't like the personalities you don't like um the people that show up in your experience they're showing up for a reason some of these people are definitely soul contracts activated these are things you agreed to in past lives before you incarnated into your physical being how do i know that because the he of the fiery sword and the sage says you always had the answers in you all along and once you begin to open up to spirit it's going to be like a sage into your soul cleansing out that they no longer serve you getting rid of all the debris so that you can step into your higher power and the source energy that is always available to you right Tay on the poet it's just like finding yourself through those around you through love and relationships that may need to be worked on and worked out with the collection of pixies but harmonizing you know in situations as well um Habia here is unknown unrealistic fears right fears that really don't exist they're self-perceived um fears here you could be self-sabotaging yourself for some of you always sitting back and waiting for the uh oh moments to happen when the uh oh moments don't exist you create them by how you think and what you think and believe is possible for you and uh, the repetitive thoughts repetition brings that manifest that you think about and hold um near and dear to your soul energetically will manifest into the physical so you guys can definitely be um, experiencing some self-fulfilling prophecies here that are not serving you so you want to be very careful with that energy and um I'm going to get a spirit of the, no, a psychic tarot oracle card here for you guys. I plan to pull a tarot. I'm definitely pulling tarot for clarifiers. It's just that these oracle messages are so, you know, popping for you guys. Accelerated motion. Yeah, definitely. Someone is definitely on the path of um, a spiritual journey with the sage. Definitely spiritual journey. This card would not. Okay discontent and boredom all right so i'm gonna get to the book for these um or maybe not so much accelerated motion here is telling me that once you guys come out of this energy right now because you're finding yourself and a lot of things about yourself and you're going to find that things are going to move along very quick and very fast for you once you stand in your power right um, activate that fiery tiger energy within you that you have within you right and um discontent and boredom right now for some of us we're so disconnected from the world with this quarantine and what's going on and bored beyond our wits and you know it's really getting to some of us you know the collection of pixies here and uh, with tay on the poet like you're just missing those days when you know you're we're able to get out go with your friends go have a good time and party a lot of you want that and you're missing that but don't let it be your demise right now. Those fears of those connections of those peoples. This whole thing is bigger than us, guys. But I don't like to um, touch on that topic here in my tarot videos. 
got to pick your battles. So I'm just going to give you guys a tarot. <laughs> so, Spirit, let's get some tarot cards, if you will, for the lovely, lovely, lovely Virgos with this Oracle spread here. The messages with the tarot like two. Spread out here for this lovely, lovely Virgos. What do we have for Virgo? Four of Swords here. <laughs> Definitely, guys. And I'm taking the last card because I've seen it. If I see the card, I take it. I did see that Ace of Cups. So some of you guys are just resting right now. You're falling back right isolation meditation going within finding yourself right now being that we do have literally a quarantine going on globally right now these cards are very very indicative to that the boredom the discontentment the four of swords energy just falling back just taking a break right from the known from everything like your collection of pixies here your love missing it and longing for the connection back with your people your your soul tribe your friends and your family some of you guys are just like you know, sitting back waiting, waiting for that moment. When is it going to lift? When is it going to, the burden going to be lifted off the world, I should say at this point, because this situation is very stressful and um, it's definitely a burden on everyone right now, financially more so than anything. The Ace of Cups is telling me with the accelerated motion that if you go within and find your true self, the Ace of Cups, love, water, energy, cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and the Four of Swords, Air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, telling me that true love comes from within, like the sage, he of the fiery sword. You've always had the answers in you the whole time, so don't sabotage yourself here by falling out of sync with your higher self, with the love here, a divine gift from the universe. Some of you, it's new love or it's a renewal of love or finding a more loving, nurturing connection with those around you that are nearest and dearest to you through the lunar cycles of the um, you know universe and the things that are taking place right now collectively, consciously, on a global scale that we're all going through. Just remember that you are love that the true love that you admit comes from your heart and only you, you and only you are the one that holds that cup to your life. The key to your happiness is love. When you come from the heart and you love from your heart, everything else begins to fall into place. And through that self-discovery of self-love, through that breakthrough, when you realize that you are the key, that you are the ticket to your happiness, it's going to be like a sage, a cleansing of your soul. You're going to find your inner voice. You're going to be able to speak your truth. Some of you are just going to be falling in love with yourself all over again and some of your gifts being activated through spirituality. And that's going to make you have an accelerated in motion towards your purpose and what it is that you are supposed to be doing here on this path. Messages from the Kipper Oracle, please, Spirit. This one wants to come out. Lovers. Ooh, somebody's dealing with the Gemini with the lovers and AC cut. Somebody has <laughs> a love coming. Tell on the poet. Now, this guy is serenading you. Taeyong is serenading someone here. Um, he's singing poetry here. It's the ruffle of the whisper. It's the whisper in the ruffle of the leaves. It's that bird that's singing outside your window. This can be angelic. It could be messages coming through songs, through your radio. Your person is definitely probably going to be sending messages. The collection of pixies. Um, this person. Yeah, <laughs> I like that. Ace of Cups lovers and Taeyong. I see what he's here for. This guy serenading you. Taeyong wants some action. Taeyong is such a lover, though. <laughs> Occupation. Yeah, some guys, some of you guys are um, discontent and bored. <laughs> Tired of being off of work, missing your occupation because you love your occupation here. The way your three cards fell here, right? Um, can you see that? Got my little bonnet all in the camera. <laughs> Good thing about when I don't go full body on camera. I can sit on the other end and look how I want to look. in my robe and my bonnet? Anyways, back to y'all reading. <laughs> so, yeah, let's get another card. It's going to be okay, guys. For those of you that work at home, it's beautiful. It's good. For those of you that don't, find something to do. Find your inner calling, the thing that reaches out to your soul. It calls out to you like the poet, like the, you know, messages and some of the poetry you've read. Some of you guys like poetry, are very good with poetry. I, myself, am a poet, and I love it. Absolutely love it. Family room. Some of you guys are going to be gathering in a family room to discuss um, occupations. This isn't something that's going to happen while the quarantine is taking place. I'm going to pull another oracle card here. Um, I mean, tarot, but said oracle. Spirit, can you clarify for me? This family room card. Some of you guys could have. Um, 
a new addition to be bringing to the family with the family room and the ace of cups. Why did I just read that like that with the lovers card? Because I'm seeing it as someone that's probably had a child outside um, of a situation that's playing out behind the scenes right now with this quarantine. And um, it's going to be made to be found out in a family group type of situation. Ooh, Knight of Swords. Okay, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, someone coming in really quick with messages. Um, this could be a person from your past that has cut you off. Definitely dealing with a third party situation with the Ace of Cups, Knight of Swords, and Three of Cups. Someone is torn between you and another person, a third party here. Um, the Three of Cups and the Lovers card, like I said, Gemini energy, but it's also um, someone that's definitely torn between making a choice between you and another person here. Um, let's get another card. High Priestess, this is something you've known and you feel it in your in your heart and your soul. Um, he of the Fiery Sword is telling me that once you uh, admit to yourself and realize that your worst fears maybe have been made manifest and that it is what it is to begin to move on, um, you can find that moment of sage, the moment of soul cleansing and renewal so that you can step into your path. And um, I'm going to clarify for you guys. I want to get you guys a... Romance angels for those of you who are on the happy side of this love reading with that ace of cups bringing new love. Um, I'm seeing that knight of swords energy that's face down. I'm not going to read that one yet. Your knight of swords can just be um, that direct communication coming in really fast, not taking no shit, giving someone an ultimatum, and I'm being very bold and direct about it, setting boundaries for yourself. And this is very impulsive energy. So, this person with the knight of swords energy is like no chill type of energy. So, you know, just free yourself is what Spirit is saying. Past life relationship here and free yourself. Um, you have known each other before, lovers. So definitely someone with a past life contract with the sage is being activated. You have um, DNA activated through the high priestess and the sage energy. Very spiritual. Your angels are letting you know that this person is worth waiting for because it is a past life relationship. So when you free yourself from that that's going on around you. So you past life relationship and worth waiting for. And it was divined by the angels. It's guided to you. So although there has been a lot of, you know, trials and tribulations and struggles, um, what came up as part of your soul contract, as part of your soul's purpose here um, with the high priestess energy, something within you that calls out that's bigger than you, that's larger than this whole experience, right? It's about the collective. And then spirit is wanting you to know that now's the time to free yourself from, you know, self-limiting beliefs, from self-fulfilling prophecies, some that have been made manifest. And, you know, I'm sorry about that. We all go through what we go through. But um, it is time to take back control of your life right now and to get in charge of things that didn't serve you so that you can find your inner peace and calm, your discontent and bored right now, falling back on a rest and a break from your person and situation. And um, there's a lot to talk about here. You guys are going to have to sit down and have a home style family type of meeting situation that's going to um, require for you to be grounded. No action. Speak your truths with a knight of swords, but just don't be so impulsive about it. Last card here from the Romance Angels for you guys. Then I'll be going over to Vimeo to clarify. Um, guys, please do not forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So your feelings for this person is are real. And they're worth exploring and this could be them wanting to come towards you and explore their feelings for you so this person is coming in and they've cut something or someone off a choice has been made and they're going to be coming to let you know about it and this conversation may start off a bit um with some tension on both sides but there's a lot of love here this is gonna have to be something that you guys talk through and work through in order to get to a common ground here it's the only way for that common ground to be found it's gonna be for that discomfort you got to break through that that discomfort of the initial contact and conversation that you need to have with your person about what's going on right now okay guys i'm going to be extending hit the link below to join me over on my vimeo namaste